Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest, Dragon Slayer. It's free to play. I can start this quest by speaking to the guild master in the Champions Guild southwest of Varrock. I will need to be able to defeat a level 83 dragon. To enter the Champions Guild, I need to have 33 quest points, which is easy if you've done all free to play quests. This account may be members, but I'll be doing it as if it's a free to play, so yeah. Uh, for the next about five minutes I'm going to be rambling on items and how to get them so if you do not need this or if you went to the Grand Exchange um, please disregard this where this starts is right here in Varrock at the Champions Guild um, 33 magic helps you can use the wizard's mind bomb if you need the boost to it or you're gonna need 10k if you cannot, uh, 10,000 coins if you cannot cast telekinetic grab. If you want a free way of um, training magic, just every 30 minutes, come here to the magic shop in Varrock, which is just by this bank here. This is Aubrey, is also the place where you teleport to the S mine. Every 30 minutes, you can claim 30 air and 30 mind runes off of him. This guide is going to be done assuming you have the magic level to um, teleport to Falador. If you do not have the magic level to teleport to these places, please pause my video until you get there. Okay, uh, 43 prayer does help as you can protect from melee. Melee, however you want to say it. Um, on a note, this was recorded November 3rd, 2009. If there are any inconsistencies, as I know there are in my first Dragon Slayer guide, please keep in mind that Jagex does change its quests, and I can only make so many accounts to keep doing this on, so this will probably be my last guide on this. Hopefully they do not change it again. You are going to need three planks. You can, if you're a member, you can make them at the sawmill. Um, go here along here at Barbarian Outpost and get those or you can buy them from the Grand Exchange. Grand Exchange is for members as well as free to play for okay for finding them in the wilderness they're like around here that that's where I found them at least and I think there was either some at the graveyard of shadow or the runes here I don't know go check those places out. Those are if you want them for free and the Grand Exchange is not buying them for you. 90 steel nails. These buy easily at the Grand Exchange. If you do not want them, however, you can go through the hassle of making the steel bars and smithing them yourself with a hammer. You are going to need a hammer, an unfired bowl. For unfired bowls, all you have to do is go find clay. There's clay over here. Mine some clay. Um, oh, right, they took the pottery wheel out of there. Yeah, mine some clay. Oh, no, they still have the pottery wheel here. Okay, either take it to the pottery wheel in the Barbarian Village or Draenor and make yourself a bowl. Make sure that it's, um, you use the clay you mine with water to get soft clay. You are going to need a wizard's mine bomb. This is bought from the pub in Falador. Pretty easy there. You're gonna need a lobster pot or a crayfish cage. They can be bought at the fishing shop here. Please keep in mind that you're gonna be losing the mine bomb and the lobster pot or crayfish cage. Please keep that in mind. Um, piece of silk that I do not know where you can get that in free to play. So um, put your offer in in advance in the grand exchange. Anti-Dragon Shield is obtained during the quest. I will show you how to do that, obviously. You're going to need about 2,000 coins. A one-handed weapon. I would recommend getting a rune, scimitar if you can. Obviously armor. You can wear rune everything except for the plate body. So wear rune chain body or adamant plate. You're going to need one Law Rune and one Air Rune if you're 33 Magic. If you are not, you're going to have to use 10,000 coins. But that's completely up to you. Oh yes, also if you have 33 Magic, please bring Telekinetic Grab Runes, as I just said, as well as something to off, off something behind bars that you cannot reach. Either you do Magic 
or you do mage. It's completely up to you. For free to play, the best food you can get are swordfish. I will be using that. If not, uh, at least lobster for the dragon part. For everything else, you can use cheap stuff like salmon or something. I don't know, that's up to you. Monsters you're going to have to kill is a level 3 zombie rat, a level 19 ghost, a level 22 skeleton, a level 24 zombie, a level 43 Melzar the Mad, level 82 Lesser Demon. That's pretty much all, all just for one key. And of course, the end boss Elvarg at level 83. So, as you can see, I will be showing you yeah, some more stats for people that want to see it. I don't know, it's up to you. But I am going to be assuming, as I said, you can teleport all over the place. So for now, bringing food and teleport runes. The rest of the stuff we will not need. I will tell you when we need it. So let's go speak to him. Akinai has a quest. At this point in time, we have to go to Edgeville. So, for non-members, that is south, uh, north of Barbarian Village. Let's go. In this house here, speak to Ozaich. Ask to be sold room plate body. Say the guildmaster told me. I thought you were going to give me a quest. A dragon, that sounds like fun. Head back to the guildmaster in South of Eric. I talked to Azaj. At this point, run through absolutely every option he gives you. You will not be able to complete this quest unless you do so. So, um, get reading. First thing first, we need to go to Melzer's Maze, which is south of the Crafting Guild as we have the key. So, make your way to Falador, and uh, go south of the Crafting Guild. It will be by Remington. So right next door you get the onions and cabbages. Let's go in. Kill any level 3 zombie rat. Well, except for the, yeah, zombie rat, not the itty bitty small ones. Just make sure it's the medium ones, not the great big huge ones. Use this on the northwest red door and go up the stairs. Keep in mind as the colored keys will disintegrate as you use them so you will lose the ability for them. Please keep this in mind so if you lose one you're gonna have to go back and kill more. 
So there should be a ghost located in a separate room. Find it and kill it. <laughs> 